Hey, Denzel, it's, it's Joel. Right. Joel, last name? Wade. We spoke. We had a meet. Yes, we did. My memory's I'm, good. Good, man. <laughs> forgive me if I, you know, I got some, sometimes, man, since this is the interesting job, I got to remember names and it's, 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 uh, it's fun. You're though. doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So we, we spoke recently. We did. Um, I made my first chunk on the sixth and um, things are going well. You know, things are going well. Um, I did have some difficulties. Um, this may be helpful to some other people. My uh, credit union has an agreement with a pay service. So when I went to make my chunk, I found out that the maximum I could could um, send from the bill pay service at the bank was fifteen thousand, and my chunk was supposed to be thirty three thousand. So um, you know that became an issue, but I found out I can make a, a bank uh, wire. It was twenty five dollars, but I was able to complete the chunk, and um, it worked out. My mortgage dropped from. I think it was 88 at the time. Now the balance is um, 54, and uh, we paid it down. We, we uh, you know, we just made our first, because uh, that was two weeks ago. We get paid every two weeks. We just, um, you know, put the income back into the HELOC. So it's already down to under 30000 mm. What's so the... HELOC amount again? I'm, I'm over here finding your numbers. The right HELOC here. amount is 50000 Right. Um. So we made a 66% chunk on the mortgage. We, we spoke on this already, right? We spoke about it. Yeah, we spoke right. about it. Got it. Got it. Um. Okay, I see you're, you're a, one of my one-on-ones. Okay. I'm just pulling up your spreadsheet. So the balance of the mortgage was originally at 138000 right? Originally, now it's down to um, to fifty four. But um, yeah, I had been using some other methods, uh, Avalanche and um, mm -hmm. some Australian pay your years off in five to seven years right. method, but it wasn't working with my other debts. So you know, the Velocity Banking, we we found you. It's just been a couple months now. And, um, you know, all the all the revolving debts, we have no more credit card debts. Um, we have no cars anymore. I uh, redirected funds from my 401k um, savings in some other places to accelerate things. You know, we discussed that. Right. So it's working well. It's working well. Nice. So. Bring it back to the bank again. So I'm okay. not allowed to make a chunk more than 15K. Correct. Then that was a shock to me because, you know, we were ready to pull the trigger. And then when I go to make the <laughs> I go to make the uh, chunk and they said, uh, you know, um, you can only make a fifteen thousand dollar chunk maximum and you can only do it one time. So I contacted the bank. I spoke to you. You replied to me and you said, contact the bank. So I contacted the bank and um, the bank. That's when I found out that the bill pay service is a third party service. It's not actually them. So they make the rules and that's not something that they could adjust or change. Right. So and that's the checking account. That's not the HELOC, right? That well, the the checking account and the HELOC is with the same um, credit union, right? So it's not that I can't pull out thirty three grand, right? Or right, grand. right. I can pull it out, but I can't pull just. Um, I can't make any can't. transaction more than fifteen k. Exactly, to oh. one payee per month. Oh, one per month. So, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So what you did was a wire transfer. I did a wire transfer. Exactly. $25. 25 bucks. Okay. Which. So, 
you know. It's not bad. I mean, my. Yeah, it's uh, not bad. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking in my head. Would it be, would it be beneficial if I just did fifteen, fifteen? You know, one month, the next one, fifteen, and then, you know, to do my velocity banking, to avoid the twenty five bucks, or, mm -hmm. you know, when I look at the math, does it make sense to pay the twenty five? Because by making that large chunk ahead of time in advance, it it the does interest more saved, right? The interest saved that we're paying because uh, when I looked at it. On the mortgage, it was about four hundred dollars of my monthly payment is going to interest. Mm. Um, so you know, I'm saving. I'm saving right there. So mm. I think the numbers with the numbers, you know, running the number, it's it was better to just take bite the bullet and pay the twenty five bucks. Um, I ran into another issue with the escrow. You may have some information on this. I, I tried to remove the escrow and um, someone else may have some information that they hadn't been paying my escrow out of my monthly payment. A portion of my monthly mortgage payment is supposed to go to the escrow. But when I went to remove it, they said I have this huge balance. It's like $5,000. And I'm saying, well, where is the money that I've been paying every month? going i shouldn't have a five thousand dollar balance if four hundred dollars of my payment is supposed to be going to the taxes to the escrow you know so i actually have um a legal issue on your hand yes yes uh, uh i've had i forgot their name but someone in the past i think it was about two individuals that had a similar uh problem with their mortgage company wasn't they would they were paying it but it wasn't actually the actual cost of the tax so it was like it was less mm -hmm. so although they were paying it but they weren't paying it in full right. so now they were back on on taxes then all of a sudden their mortgage payment rose one year mm -hmm. and to kind of like make up for these payments mm -hmm. but now you gotta, you gotta factor in okay they're probably throwing on fees in there that shouldn't be there and all this stuff mm -hmm. And I believe that um, they they went ahead and got some uh, legal attorneys involved to to help them with that because that's that's you know beyond us. Let's just say mm -hmm. that that's something that we have to involve some uh, legal help with that. So if you exactly have an attorney or if you don't, um, I, I would want to jump on that right away. Whether you know you use a legal shield service or if you know someone or in the family or you're acquainted with somebody, I'd want to jump on that right away because I think it happens more often than people uh, expect. And then all of a sudden, because I'm, I, I think people are familiar with this that have mortgages that, you know, you're paying your mortgage, paying your mortgage. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden mm -hmm. one year, your mortgage payments goes up because the, because mm -hmm. the, the escrow went up, but mm -hmm. did the escrow really go up or was the mortgage payment not actually paying what is owed because they're just doing estimated payments right which is why i'm big on removing escrow if i can as early as possible from pre-existing mortgages paying it myself so i know that got paid <laughs> you know and i don't gotta worry Absolutely. about it. and then there's times where i've had this it's the opposite mm -hmm. they overpaid on escrow they're not told mm -hmm. a single thing and all mm -hmm. of a sudden, they have this huge escrow balance just sitting, mm -hmm. money sitting, not earning mm -hmm. interest. Right. And, and they're, they've been basically overpaying on, on taxes to the mortgage company. Right. And it, well, in my mind, they've been using that money. They're flipping that money. Absolutely. Sitting in an escrow account, not doing anything. Absolutely. And the customer, we don't know nothing. Here we are paying extra when we don't really need to. We could have been using that to knock the principal of the mortgage itself down. Absolutely. It can go both ways. And, you know, we want to get on that right away. So thanks for bringing that up. Maybe yeah. someone else in here, people who have mortgages. I, I constantly encourage people when we're looking at our numbers, we're not just figuring out what we spend and what we make and what we keep. We're, we're going deep. Like, where is every single dollar going? What are my fees? What's being drawn? What's being taken? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. 
what is where are the where are the holes in my final absolutely plug them up so that's really mm -hmm. good i appreciate you bringing that up anything else that you want to uh, any other questions or something you want to bring up or from our previous phone call we're like on track because i know we're on, we're on track i'm sharing this with everyone i had i did have a question come up because now that i'm learning i'm sharing it and i'm i was explaining it to my friend and he he has a situation where he wants to withdraw money from his 401k because he was unable to get a HELOC because he has a, a few credit issues. He's, his mortgage is huge, his $450,000 mortgage. His income and cash flow is great. I, I, I broke down, you know, how to find his numbers and plugged them in with you and your website, uh, the YouTube. And he's he's excited, but he, he tried to get the HELOC and he was unable to. But what his idea is now is to withdraw some money from his 401k. And I was telling him to uh, use that. You know, he was going to withdraw a small amount and use it to chunk, but he can only withdraw once a year. So I said withdraw. I think he has access to 30000 and create his own fund to to um chunk at his uh his wife has a hundred thousand dollars in student loans and that's his main goal but i was watching some of your videos and you were saying do not use the savings as a um debt weapon so i'm kind of not clear and you were saying to fund a secured line of credit and so I'm I'm gonna probably bring that up to him, but I wanted to get yeah. some clarity on that as far as why you would create a secured line of credit to do it when you would pay interest on that and you wouldn't pay interest if you had just the savings and you were, you know, putting your income back into the savings and then chunking from there. Right. So when so i have a couple of options when I, when I don't get approved for a debt tool which is mm -hmm. option one i just do did snowball reposition myself build the credit up reapply at a later time second option is if my credit's really bad and i'm just super high utilization on on debts my dti is high all that good stuff i could introduce getting a secured revolving personal line of credit out of fairly low rate, preferably below like 5%, below 6%. Um, with that, if I have 30 grand of capital and I throw it at debt, right? And I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to use my savings and I'm going to throw this 30K at, at debt. We have to understand that that's a one shot, one kill. Money's gone right? The only way to recoup that money is I now have to replenish the account back up to 30k before I, you know, preferably chunk again. That is debt snowball. Now, the issue is I, I can't dump all my income into the savings account because I'm limited to the amount of transactions that I can make on most savings accounts. So that's the first issue that comes up. Um, and then I, I try to let people know you, you're not doing anything special. You're doing debt snowball by, by introducing capital to pay off debt. So that's when I say it's debt snowball. It's just, just a one shot, one kill. But if I secure the 30, then I store the 30 K up with the bank potentially I can have it work in like a CD account or some sort of high yield savings account where it can earn interest. And then they're going to give me their 30 K and now I'm going to take their 30 K go pay off debt. Yes. I'm paying interest on money I secured, but the advantage is that when I wipe out debt, Right and get cash flow and reposition myself for an unsecured revolving line of credit or, or or a HELOC in his case. I still have the thirty, never lost it. Plus, I'm able to go faster. I can have all my income go into that revolving line, expenses come out, cash flow stays in. 
I'm doing the same thing as that snowball, but just going a tad bit faster. Right? I'm, I'm going a bit faster, probably in most cases, a lot faster uh, than that snowball because that's just making extra payments, but in the form of big chunks. Right. Then the third option is implementing infinite banking, where, again, I establish my own personal line of credit tax free. It's going to compound money. Yes, I'm negative the first couple of years. So I have to have a strategy in place to make sense of me doing that. You know, so a lot of times it just doesn't make sense to either do infinite banking. So then we're just left with that snowball and velocity banking with a secure debt. The only reason why I'm doing a secure debt is to build the credit score up so I can get approved for the debt tool, whether it be the HELOC or the PLOC. Right. Right. And that should only take me about a year. And again, once I'm done, I still have the original 30, never lost it. The other person is too busy replenishing their 30. All right. If they're cash flowing three grand, it's going to take them, you know, around 12 months to like replenish that 30 grand. You know, or like 10 months, 10 to 12 months to replenish that. Whereas if I had 30K secured, I'm making 10 grand, cash flowing three. I take out a chunk of 66% of 30, not the whole 30 grand, but portion mm -hmm. of it. Throw it at debt, do velocity banking. Boom, I'm already, you know, four to six months in. I'm already on my next chunk where the right. other guy did 30K, takes him 10 months to pay back. 30k because he's cash flowing three whereas the person that's doing velocity banking does two chunks that equal more than 30 in the same time frame i go faster i get more cash flow and i have my 30 never lost it and my credit's obviously better because i'm actually using credit building it up i'm, I'm repos repositioning myself so that's um you know interesting way of looking at it does that provide a little more clarity? That provides a little more cl clarity. I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate you. God bless you. Uh, be well. I don't want to take too much of your time. You had a lot of other people to help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have some other people in the house here. So uh, thank you. We'll talk thank again you. soon, obviously. Make sure you're on my calendar because I know it's getting booked up. Absolutely. 24, my son. Thank you. Right.